Wise with Luke Cortese and Kevin Flood. All ready to go. Barron and Goldwater left for the United States. And in Goldwater right, Lauren Malcolm from the faceoff. All stars have it. Ryan Tut wheels on left wing. It's ten air. He sends it skimming in behind the Olympic team's goal. Handled by Hirsch. Around the boards on right wing. For Chelios chased him behind the goal by Davies. He left it right there. Knocked down right in from my Schreiber to the crease for Davies. Knocked away by Hirsch on left wing. At center of old check over the wing line. It should say over the Olympic IHL team line in the top side. No further play. We played 22 seconds opening period. And we're scoreless from Wing Stadium. Kalamazoo, a quick change from both benches. Bill English of the IHL All-Stars and Lou Vero of the U.S. Olympic team. All ready to go from the faceoff. Fired in behind the goal by Rosenzoff. Dug out at the backboards by I.F. Freddy for the U.S. Up on left wing. At center's over, Corey Millen. He stroked it in behind the All-Stars goal. Digging it out diligently, Steve Harrison from Peoria. His pass up to the blue line. Block right point by Fusco. Right in front of a swept away. Beautiful. To center zone by Warren. Ahead, over the line for Resenza. Left wing circle, backhander. Deflected in behind the goal. Dug out by Sampson. Now Sampson in the middle. At center for Vercota. He reaches the IHL All-Star line. Poked off his stick into the U.S. zone by Gruel. Covering up in front of the goal is Brook. Brooks pass stopped at center by Gruel on left wing. Over the line for Yakachuk. All on the boards. Working on Brook who gave him a rough right in the corner. Back comes the U.S. Fusco. Rink one on left wing. At center, over the line for Paul Gay. Left wing circle. He was checked in front by LaCour. Back come the stars. Yakachuk's pass. Knocked down by Bukestaff. Drove it in behind the goal. Malikin is there. Around the boards on left wing for Yakachuk. Yakachuk at his own line for LaCour. At center for Yakachuk. Two on one. Over the U.S. line. Green River pressed and shot. Oh, what a save by Barron as he speared it and holds. No further play. Wait a minute, 45. Opening period. Scoreless from Wing Stadium, Kalamazoo, the 18th IHL All-Star Game, featuring the IHL All-Stars and the U.S. Olympic team. <clears throat> Face off will be left of Mark Barron, U.S. goal. All ready to go for the face-off. It'll be Griffith and uh, Fiore. One by Griffith. Fiore was spilled along the boards by uh, Kumpel and back comes the U.S. team at center the pass for Harrington blocked at the line by Tuttle clear to center played all the way back into the U.S. zone by a backpedaling Chris Chelios in the middle at center for Thomas he zooms in over the line left wing boards for Harrington track right there by Willison and back they come IHL at center go ahead shoots right on come on by Barron drops in behind the goal by Hirsch. He was checked neatly by Aurelio, but trailing is Chelios on left wing, lugging it to center over the IHL All-Star line. Drummed along the boards by Aurelio and Morin. Skids into the corner. Dug out by Tuck. Stopped by Olchek. They jostle for it vigorously and lock it up. No further play. 17-25 left. Opening period. Scoreless from Wing Stadium, Kalamazoo. Faceoff will proceed deep in the IHL All-Star Zone to the right of goaltender Lauren Mollican. And for the IHL All-Stars, it'll be Rob Davies and Pat LaFontaine for the U.S. Olympic team. Sticks come down. One by LaFontaine. He brought it right in front. Only fanned on the shot as he was technically by Moore, and back comes to the IHL. Schreiber left wing at center for Falkenberg. He was technically by Fusco. Puck skids into the corner behind the U.S. goal. Davies took it up, but ran through it, back and he scores! Rob Davies, IHL leads, one nothing. Puck from the defense, bolted in front in a breezing fashion, and Tuck Thomas Sleek streamlined backhander at 2.52. Rob Davies from the host team, Kalamazoo Wings. IHL leads 1 0. 
from the face off center zone groove on left wing drifts it into u.s territory chased in behind the goal by fusco fusco jammed lustily in the corner by resenza dug out by mcginnis in the corner center for crew left wing circle left wing for Wilson. right in front for crew shot what a save by baron rebound right wing boards dug out by old check he delivered it behind the goal on the defense the puck into the corner dug out by fusco fusco upon right wing roll check check by gruel left point for Willis and shot right out what a save by baron in a four seven legs on a screen puck into the corner they child so forth in a mighty move continuing to child so forth digging it out as Gruel. he sent it right in front mcginnis to the doorstep for his hands up swept away neatly by aya frady now aya frady rink caught on the right defense for mark fusco at the U.S. line on right wing. His pass blocked at center by Willison. Willison in the middle at center zone. Storms over the U.S. line. Right wing circle shot. Blocked down the defense by Fusco. Contained at the blue line by LaCour. Right wing boards for Yakachuk. Centered it right in front for LaCour. Checked by Fusco, but LaCour dug it out beyond the goal, working feverishly. He poked it into the corner of Preston. Preston was jostled along the boards by Gay, and they clear into the ihl zone covering up his tut brian tut on the left wing at center for danielle lacour he stroked it in behind the u.s goal tracked down by bob brook now brook from behind his own goal to organize lacour in deep for checking his long lead aimlessly at an open wing that was meant for gary sampson too far down ice reached behind the ihl all-star goal by mike bolden u.s charged with icing break in the action ihl all-stars one u.s olympic team nothing this is all-star hockey Right point, Moran closes right wing circle. Fire to the crease, Fiore scores! Tony Fiore, IHL leads 2 0. Tony Fiore on the deflection, and the IHL All Stars lead suddenly 2 0. Tony Fiore on the deflection at the doorstep, and it's a 2 0 IHL lead. And those two goals in the span of a minute. And 48 seconds. It was Davies from Schreiber at 2.52. Tony Fiore from the Flint Generals connecting. 2 nothing. I show the All-Stars. Sudden turn of events. Back comes the All-Stars again behind the goal. Steve Harrison lasso's it. Leading on right wing for Neil Aurelio in the middle. Center for Fiore. Over the U.S. lot on left wing. For a hard charging Bernie Gallant. Knocked back the center zone by Fusco. Control by Fiore. All the way for Aurelio. Right wing circle. Shot deflected in the corner by Tom Hirsch. I got right wing boards by Fusco leading for Bukestad at center. Now uh, Bukestad had a dance off his stick and Steve Harrison on the left wing drove it right back beyond the goal of the All Stars. Dug out in the corner by Chelios. Thumped by Herilio, but he delivered, delivered it side of the goal for Hirsch. Left side at his own line for Fusco. Scott Fusco motors to center. Hits the IHL All Star line. Spilled in front by McGowan. Covering up behind the goal for the IHL is Willison leading sharply to his own line for Bernie Gallant. Accelerating into the straightaway at center. He hits the U.S. line and offside on right wing was Neil Herilio from Muskegon. No further play. 14-27 left. First period. And the IHL All-Stars have seized a 2-0 lead. Davies from Schreiber, 252. Fiore on the deflection of Vic Morin's shot that emanated from the top of the right wing circle at 440. Two of the IHL All-Stars centermen. The marksman. All ready to go from face-off. Centers on the left wing. Kevin Willison fired it high off the backboards. It lands on the back of the net. Being defended by Mark Barron from the University of Wisconsin for the U.S. team. No further play. And the face-off will emanate outside the U.S. line on left wing right below us, which, of course, is the IHL All-Stars left wing. Davies in the face-off. And he'll oppose Tim Thomas. Thomas won it in the defensive zone on the left defense. Hiya Franny on right wing at center for Harrington. Check as he reached the IHL line by Falkenberg. Controlled on the defense. On the left side by Willison up on right wing at center for Scott McGowan. Over the bottom left wing for Dave Falkenberg. And that's offset at the U.S. Olympic line. No further play. 14 04 the first period. It's IHL All Stars 2. U.S. Olympic team nothing. 
See, now showing at Video Innovations the Wings winning goal, and you may be the star in the lead role. Now, to find out more about your starring role in the Wings winning goal, you just have to stop at Video Innovations, Stadium Drive, Kalamazoo. Tell them the fix sent you. From the face out, Kevin Willison on left wing at center zone, lashed it in behind the U.S. goal, but it was offside for the IHL All-Stars. No further play. 13.57 remaining, opening period. IHL All-Stars have really stung this highly vaunted and touted U.S. Olympic team. 2-0. It'll be Davies for the U.S. or for the IHL All-Stars and Tim Thomas for the U.S. Olympic team on the face-off. Sticks come down, one by Davies, collected left wing boards by Kevin Willison, right in front of the U.S. bench. He drifted into U.S. territory, I Freddy, right in front of the goal, barely escaped the check of Davies. He motors up the left side of center, over the line for Harrington, through the defense, and along with a shot, oh, Robinson close the door, tuck in behind the goal. Trapped at the back porch by Willison, leading off the left wing boards for Falkenberg at his own line in the middle of center for Davies. Over the line, left wing, second for Falkenberg, centered for Davies in front, blocked by Harrington, who peeled back. Now U.S. underway, Harrington at his own line for Fusco, in the middle of center for Tim Thomas. Over the US IHL line for Fusco, he whirls left wing boards, delivered it into the corner for Thomas, wrapped up assertively by Falkenberg and cleared down ice by Scott McGowan, racing back to reach it. For the U.S. Olympic team, Mark Fusco, IHL All-Stars charged with icing, break in the action. IHL All-Stars 2, U.S. Olympic team nothing. This is All-Star Hockey. Off. Now in the Olympic team zone, Brooke almost lost it in front to McGinnis, but he was spilled by Jensen, who peeled back. Dug out behind the goal by Bob Brooke, the former Yale University standout. Breakaway pass at center line, Fontaine. Broken up by Todd, his pass stopped at center by Jensen. He zooms in over the IHL All-Star line, centering pass. That was blocked by Todd on a sleek recovery. He just rolls it gently all the way back behind the U.S. team's goal. Cracked down there by Bob Brook on the right defense. Now Brook in a leisurely like fashion, leading on the left wing for Old Check. Now Old Check at center motors in over the high chill line. Right in front for LaFontaine, shot score! Pat LaFontaine with the two to one high chill all star lead. Fontaine has just scored his 51st goal in 54 games for the IHL All-Star defense, parted as if the Red Sea, and Pat LaFontaine just negotiated it flawlessly as he slipped in behind the defense. He was wide open in front of Deke Mulliken from the crease and deposited home a very slick velvet backhander. LaFontaine's 51st goal is a 2-1. to one shrinking IHL All-Star lead. From the face-off, Chelios on his own line on the right defense. At center for Griffith. All the line, left wing circle. Right in front for Jasper! And the U.S. is tied at 10 -2. in 20 seconds and the IHL's 2-0 lead has quickly evaporated. It's a 2-0 tie and how that U.S. team negotiates. In the face of LaCour at center, all the U.S. line, he was Priyakachuk thumped on the defense by Hirsch from the right wing boards. It's fired down ice by the goal getter Samson, reached beyond the goal by Steve Harrison, icing charge against the U.S. Olympic team. It was Pat LaFontaine's 51st from Ed Olchek. Boy, Olchek just lasered a pinpoint pass to LaFontaine, who had broken behind the defense. Jensen, the second assist, and then it was Sampson's 21st from Chelios, 20 seconds later, at 7.56, second assist to Griffith. 
It's a two-all tie. Base out right of Barron. Yakachuk one up, but the puck skidded between the point man Harrison and Moore into center. Harrison recaptures it there on left wing, drove it in behind the goal. Barron himself controls it at his own line. That centers over Gay, over the line for a buke stab. He wheels it on the boards. Check by Harrison, look out my ball and clear the middle line. Blocked at the left point. The shot right on by Freddy. Puck on the boards to the right point. Fusco shot knocked down in front by Moran. Dug out in the corner by Harrison. Jostled along the boards by Brooke. Back to the right point for Fusco. His shot deflected into the corner by Yakachuk, who had Fusco wrapped up. Along the boards, Moran. Crack down the U.S. player on the boards. And there will be a penalty coming up. The first of the game, and Vic Bourne will be the culprit at 8.51. And the U.S. Olympic team, after a rather sluggish start, regaining its stride as they begin to really dominate this hockey game. It was LaFontaine's 51st from Old Check and Jensen at 7.36. Sampson's 21st from Chelios and Griffith at 7.56. Two-goal Thunderbolt in 20 seconds to erase the 2-0 two, uh, two deficit. Face off right of Mulliken. All-star goal. Davies opposing LaFontaine, who won it. Now LaFontaine, left point for Hirsch. Great right for LaFontaine, shadow, he fired it wide. Puck can be on the goal, and Kevin Willison rifles it down ice. Very near retrieve beyond the goal is Chelios. Boy, that U.S. team just manipulates the puck brilliantly. Now Chelios leading on the left wing at center for Tom Hirsch in full flight. He ramps to the IHO line, launched it in behind the goal. Old check, spilled Willison on top of the puck at the backboards. No further play. And the face off of the current. Deep in IHL territory to the right of goaltender Lauren Mollican. Boy, moments ago, it was Hirsch, Jensen, Olchek, and uh, LaFontaine, and they were, boy, did they manipulate that puck along the boards. And in front of the goal, crisply and briskly, only Fontaine, LaFontaine, rifled one. He blistered it wide of the yawning cage. Face out right of Mollican, IHL goal. LaFontaine and Davies, the principal. Sticks come down. One by Davies. Powered it into the corner for Poland. Thump by LaFontaine. Dug out by the goal by Olchek. Centered it. Left wing circle. Hirsch fired. Kicked out by Mollikin. Rebound in the crease. And Mollikin covers it. No further play as Jensen is drummed to the ice by Fort Wayne's Mike Boland for the IHL as Boland was protecting the dignity and sanctity of his goal crease perimeter. The two IHL coaches, Bill Inglis from Toledo, J.P. LeBlanc from Kalamazoo. Inglis is operating with the forwards tonight. J.P. is working with the defenseman. He makes the defensive changes. Inglis makes the forward changes. Face out right of Malik and IHL goal to Fontaine opposing Bernie Gallant now. All ready to go. Sticks come down. One by Gallant. Right in front of the goal. Tut leaves it right side of the goal for Mike Bolden. Now Bolden wheels to the right wing board. Checked by the Font team. And in the second ever, he cleared the zone all the way into U.S. territory. Covering in front of the goal, Chris Chelios. On right wing roll. Check in the middle of the center of the Fontaine. He darts it over the IHL line. Wheels in front of McGowan. Checked him. Covering up his Tut. Tut's pass. Blocked to the move by my old check. Delivered it into the right wing corner for Scott McGowan. Rockets it off the right wing boards. Down ice for the IHL. 50 seconds for the power play. Barron in his own crease. Swept away from the unrushing Neil Hurriliu. At for Hirsch. On right wing it's over LaFontaine. He breezes in over the IHL line. Drove it around the back forward to the blue line for Hirsch. Left point for old check. Left wing boards for LaFontaine. Now Pat LaFontaine wheels in the circle. Side of the goal for old check. Swooped in behind the goal. Centered it. Right point for Chelios. Right side of the goal for old check. Centered it. Right in front. Oh, Hurriliu was there to block it. Now Hurriliu in the middle of the center for Bernie Gallant. Broken up by Jensen. He zooms in over the IHL line as he was drummed to the ice by McGowan. Right point for Chelios. Back for Jensen. is back on the ice. Back to the left point for her. She didn't anticipate it. He was pouring in and he loses him to center. Gobble up by Chelios. He zooms in over the IHL line. Drove it in beyond the goal. Mavikin comes out. Barricades for McGowan. Around the boards on right wing for Preston. Penley is over to Moore. As Preston feeds Jack. Check on right wing. Over the U.S. line for Danielle. Corey wheels right in front with a shot. 
That was knocked down on the defense by Fusco as LaCour was spilled on the defense by Iofredi. Covering up behind the goal is Thomas. Thomas passed along the board, stopped by Preston. Preston wheels him beyond the goal for Yakachuk. Back to the right point for Willis, and he holds it in. His pass along the boards. Iofredi broke that up. Now Iofredi wheels at center. He was dumped to the ice by Kevin Willis. And there'll be another IHL All-Star penalty. Kevin Willis in two minutes, tripping 11-20. Break in the action. IHL All-Stars 2, U.S. Olympic Team 2. This is All-Star Hockey. Knocked away by Davies. Contained left point by Brooke. Right point for Fusco. Now Fusco fired. Right to the crease. But oh, the deflection. Right on. Great save by the Kim. Rebound left wing boards for Scott Fusco. Back to the left point for Brooke. Checked by Davies. Davies pokes it over the blue line of center zone. He was almost away on a breakaway. All the way back into the U.S. territory. Tracked down beyond the goal by Corey Millen. Leaves it beyond the goal for Mark Fusco. The Fusco brothers on from Harvard. Now Fusco in his own line, glides gracefully into the straightaway at center. Over the IHL line, right wing circle for Scott Fusco, the shot at the side of the net. Fusco is on the rebound in the corner. Right wing boards for Bukestad. Right point for Mark Fusco. Now right wing boards for Bukestad. Oh, taken away from him by Bernie Gallant. Now Gallant wheels on right wing at center. He hits the U.S. line, wheels in a position. Back pass right wing boards for Herilio behind him. Dug out behind the goal by Mark Fusco. 48 seconds for the power play. At his own line for Scott Fusco. In the middle. At center. For Brook. Brook shot. That was blocked. Puck is loose to the left point. Brook contains it. Right point for Chilios. The shot. Right out. What a save by Mollican. With Scott Fusco darting through the doorstep. Puck into the corner. Dug out by Jensen. Jensen centered it. Blocked in front by Bernie Gallant for the IHL. And he fires it down ice. 21 seconds left in the penalty to Willison. Seven minutes for the stands at two all time. Cavorting beyond the goal, the cradle for the U.S. team is Chris Chelios. Now Chelios at center zone. Drove it in beyond the IHL goal. Chased down by Brian Tapp. Icing charge against the U.S. Olympic team. 6.48 left first period. Eight seconds remaining in the second penalty of the game both in succession to the IHL All-Stars are both the defensemen for tripping this one to Kevin Willison say so stay tuned for the first intermission on radio tonight our special guest will be the chairman of the board of the Kalamazoo Hockey Club the host team for this historical hockey event Mr. Ted Parfit that's Ted Parfit on radio he'll be joining us in our first intermission on television we will be featuring the highlights of the first period of tonight's action between the IHL All-Stars and the U.S. Olympic team. Face off left of Mark Barron, U.S. goal. Grant Rizenza for the IHL will oppose for the U.S. Olympic team. Gary Sampson. Sampson's goal deadlock matters. is 21st. Sticks come down. One by Sampson. Kangaroos left wing boards. Last two by Phil Verco to the U.S. captain. His pass to an open wing stop. That's set up by Steve Harrison. Penalty over. Throw it in behind. I have Freddy lost it. The reserve. By Grove. It wiggles in along the boards. Dug out by Haiti. Clinical Lemma got one blocked at right point with a shot. That's wide. Rebound left point. Wilson fired just wide. Rebound right point. McGowan fired through a forest of legs. Blocked to the blue line. Wilson shot. Blocked on the point by Griffith. Now Griffith at center zone. Reaching the IHL All-Star line. Dropped it right in front. Oh, it was knocked away beautifully. Contained again by the U.S. team. Right point, Gary Hayes fired. Blocked on the defense by Willison. Moose right in front. Oh, a backhander. And a great save off the stick of Steve Griffith by Lauren Malikin. No further play. 5.56 left first period. Two all tie from Wing Stadium, Kalamazoo. And this has been an excellent hockey game. The IHL All-Stars aroused the U.S. Olympic team. 
with a rude awakening early, they discovered that the CHL All-Star team was bent on a competitive game tonight. The U.S. team had actually fallen behind early. The IHL All-Stars had jumped into an early 2-0 lead. All ready to go. It'll be Rob Davies for the IHL, Tim Thomas for the U.S. team on the face of left of Mollican. Sticks come down, puck not dropped. And we'll try again. Davies and Thomas. Sticks come down, puck dropped. Davies won a Detroit from harm's way at the crease by Morn. He slipped it in behind the goal for Steve Harrison, seeking shelter with it. Now Harrison will start out very methodically at his own line. Cross ice and right wing at center for Vic Morin. He drifts it in behind the goal. Digging it out right wing corners. Bob Brook for the U.S. His clearing pass just soared off the stick of Thomas into IHL territory. Gobbled up on the right defense by Warren. Warren at his own line for Davies. Action Holt and his couple and Schreiber collided seismically right at the point of the clearing pass at the uh, IHL All-Star Blue Line. No further play. The U.S. team was offside. 5.31, first period, two all time. From Wing Stadium, Kevin is there. Davies and Fiore. Lifting the All-Stars into a 2-0 lead. LaFontaine and Sampson replying to that locket for the visitors. Standing room only overflow throwing the night. From the face of on left wing at center, David Jensen swept it in behind the goal for the U.S. team. Dug out behind the goal by Morin. Around the boards on right wing for Wally Schreiber. Checked by Jensen. Pinching him. He poked it in behind the goal. Working feverishly right in front. The shot. That was right through the crease by Harrington and back comes the IHL. They drive it in behind the goal and back to reach it as Bob Brook. IHL charged with icing. 5.05 left, first period, two all tie. Wing Stadium, Calabasoo. Face up will develop deep in IHL territory to the left of goaltender Lauren Mollican. And Mollican has been under a constant siege since the IHL All-Star 2-0 lead was in the process of melting away. All ready to go with a face-off. Yakachuk for the IHL. LaFontaine for the U.S. team. Sticks come down. One by LaFontaine. Right point for Chris Chelios. Oh, please stop his stick neatly by Yakachuk. In the middle of center for Danielle. The curve. He was skidded off by Jensen. who peel back. Delivered it in front of his own goal. On the defense. at center zone for Olchek. Over the IHL on in left wing. And he's offside. No further play. 4.50 left, first period, two all time Again, a special reminder on radio, the chairman of the board of the Kalamazoo Hockey Club, Ted Parfit, will be our special guest on television. We will have special highlight features from this opening period. All ready to go, face off outside the IHL blue line. Daly Akachuk for the Stars, LaFontaine for the U.S. Sticks come down, won by Akachuk, poked the center by the court, covering up. It's Chelios on the left defense for Hirsch. Rick one on the right defense for Chelios. He lugs at the center and fired. Block on the defense by Tuck. Rebound right wing server. Olchek. Right in front for Jensen. Shot. What a save by Malikim. Rebound left point for Hirsch. Behind the goal for Olchek. He swoops him on the goal. Centered. Right in front. Lafontaine shot right through the crease. Puck into the corner for Brian Tapp. Now tied up on left wing for Yakachuk. Yakachuk barges out of the packet. Center thunders and over the U.S. line. Left wing circle. Centered right in. And LaCour was crashed into the net by Chelios and it sent the center's home. Covering up his Preston on left wing for LaCour. Over the U.S. line for Yakachuk. Right in front for LaCour. LaCour. Oh, he was absolutely undressed. On the defense by Bukestaff at center. Over the IHL line, left wing boards for LaFontaine. He was skated up along the boards by McGowan, who really thumped him. And back comes the IHL. Yaka Chuck at center just poked it into U.S. territory, controlling the right defense by Mark Fusco. He sends the puck kangarooing in behind the IHL goal. Chased down by Scott McGowan. Oh, McGowan's clearing pass blocked to the right point by Mark Fusco with a screenshot high over top of the net into the crowd. No further play. 3.34 that first period. IHL All-Stars 2. U.S. Olympic Team 2. Kaysop will proceed deep in IHL territory where the preponderance of activity has been since the IHL had gained an early 2-0 lead. Kaysop left the Mullican IHL goal. Tony Fiore who delivered the IHL second unanswered goal before 
The U.S. rallied with a two-goal resurgence in 20 seconds in the face of a Scott Fusco. Won by Scott Fusco for Paul Gay, arranging the trigger man arc of the circle, wrapped up by Herrillo, controlled by Fiore. In the middle of the center of Herrillo, he springs out of the pack at center. Over the blue line, he wheels, drove it into the corner of Fiore. Fiore on the board. He dug it out, poked off his stick by the U.S. team. Scott Fusco, he drove it to the IHL line. Williston controls. His pass at center zone, picked off and still by Paul Gay. Back into his own zone, the right wing boards for Aya Freddy. Rink one on the left defense for Fusco, clearing the center zone from center McGowan. Feeds Herilio just outside the U.S. line, and as Herilio steered it into U.S. territory, he trapped Bernie Galan offside for the IHL. No further play. Break in the action, IHL 2, U.S. 2. This is All-Star Hockey. in his own zone. Rink one on the right defense for Bob Brook. Back in the middle of center for Sampson. He curls back into his own zone. U.S. organizing. Now Sampson at his own line for Brook. His pass at center interrupted by Fiore. Over the U.S. line for Gallant. Right in front for Fiore. Left wing circle for Gallant. Shot! Oh, what a save by Mark Perrin. As he grabbed that one with Neil Arimio and Tony Fiore for the IHL All-Stars. Really cruising the doorstep dangerously. 2.24 left, opening period, two all tied. And the faceoff will commence deep in IHL. Check that U.S. territory, right of that minor Mark Barron, who has been razor sharp in this opening period. All ready to go. It'll be Rosenza opposing Thomas on the faceoff. The trigger man is Scott Grew for the IHL. Sticks come down, Rosanne's off won it. Left point, Harrison fired, screen shot over top of the net. Behind the goal, oh, right in front, Rosanne's off, shot, bearing the save. Puck along the board, Harrison charges in left point to hold it in. Into the corner of Rosanne's off, and that was locked up on the defense by Gary Hage from Michigan State and the U.S. team, no further play. 2-10 left, opening period, two all tie, face off right of Barron. Boy, Barron's been sharp. He's from the University of Wisconsin, a draft choice of the Winnipeg Jets NHL. Now a late change from the U.S. bench and Lou Barrow. Tim Thomas will be replaced by Gary Sampson with this crucial defensive faceoff. Rosenzov and Sampson. Rosenzov won a trigger man cruel. Right point for more and shot right down. Boom, the same with Rosenzov. Park on a tented left side of the crate, but it was fired to center by Sampson. Can trouble by more, and he zooms in over the U.S. line. Right wing circle for Davies. He pulls up right in front of the crease for a cruel. That was knocked away neatly. On um, the defense by Hershey, who cleared it over the blue line of center zone. Handled by Vic Moore and right wing boards. His path to steered into U.S. territory. Controlled by Mark Kate. Rank right on the left wing circle for Chelios on right wing at center for Kumpel. Kumpel reaches the IHL line, drove it in behind the goal, tracked down by Harrison in pursuit, Tim Thomas. Now Steve Harrison on right wing at center, Ian McGinnis for the IHL. He romps over the U.S. line, back to the right point for more and more and fired it wide. Rebound left wing corner for Davies, deposits it right back into that corner. It's dug out there, Grohl right in front from McGinnis, shot! Oh, an electrifying save! By Barron, puck contained at the blue line. Right point by Rezanzov, throw it into the corner. I shall a hurry change. Dug out in the corner. By Fusco at center, over the line. Double LaFontaine wheeling in front. He was stopped by Bolin with a minute left. The period and back comes the IHL. Falkenberg on left wing at center. Wraps over the line. Bring it for Davies to the crease for Falkenberg. It's skidded off his stick. And back comes the U.S. They just clear the center zone. Covering up at the IHL line is Bolin. On right wing for Schreiber at center. He was checked by Aya Freddy. He feeds for LaFontaine. Over the IHL line. Right wing boards for old check. Into the circle for LaFontaine. He was stumped in the corner by Falkenberg. Action halted as LaFontaine appeared to be momentarily injured, but he bounces back up. 35 seconds left. First period, two all tied from Wing Stadium, Kalamazoo. Again, we want to remind you, 
on radio. The chairman of the board of the Kalamazoo Hockey Club, the host team, Mr. Ted Perp, will be our special guest in our first intermission. On television, we will feature the highlights from this first period action. Pace over left of Mollican, IHL goal. Rob Davies, a goal getter representing the Wings tonight. In the face out with Scott Fusco from Harvard. Sticks come down, puck not drop. Paul Gay from Providence, the trigger man for the U.S. team. Gay property of the Minnesota North Stars. Davies in the face off with Fusco. Sticks come down. Fusco won it. Right in front for Gay. Back hander just wide in a screen. Puck can be on the goal. Dog out neatly by the Olympic team. Brooks shot from the right point. That was blocked on the defense by Willison, who propelled it into U.S. territory. Jensen chased him down the goal for the league. Leading scorer, Fort Wayne's Wally Schreiber. He shadows in front. Now Jensen's long lead on left wing at center for Gabe. Checked along the boards by Rob Davies for the IHL on right wing. He wrapped it right back behind the goal. Five seconds left. Covering down the goal is Bob Brook, and he will consume the rest of the time in the first period. There's the Horn first period over. Excellent hockey. And this standing room only overflow crowd at Wing Stadium, Kalamazoo, certainly appreciating the efforts of both clubs here tonight. One period of play complete from Wing Stadium, Kalamazoo, and this, the 18th IHL All-Star game, the score. The IHL All-Stars 2, the U.S. Olympic Team 2. This is IHL All-Star Hockey. Terry Ficarelli rejoining you. Wing Stadium, Kalamazoo, the site of an historical hockey happening as the International Hockey League All-Stars are opposing the U.S. Olympic Team. After one period of play before the standing room only throng overflow crowd of 5,284, the game is tied surprisingly. It's the IHL All-Stars 2 and the U.S. Olympic Team 2. To open the scoring at 2.52, the IHL All-Stars seized an early lead when Rob Davies from the Kalamazoo Wings connected. Wally Schreiber, the league's leading scorer from the Fort Wayne Comets on the assist. Davies bolting to the front of the U.S. team's cage from the side of the goal to convert on a sharp, sleek backhander. Davies from Schreiber, 2.52 first period action as the IHL seized an early 1-0 lead. Schreiber left wing at center for Falkenberg. He was checked neatly by Fusco. Puck skids into the corner behind the U.S. goal. Davies took it up front. Right in front. Big Kenny score! Rob Davies! I shall lead. One nothing. Less than two minutes later, a minute and 48 seconds to be exact, at 4.40 from a faceoff deep in the U.S. zone. Tony Fjord from the Flint Generals won the faceoff, directing it to the right point of Fort Wayne Comets All-Star Vic Morn. He strolled into the circle, drove his shot on Fiore at the crease, steered it home. Fiore from Morn at 4.40. IHL had taken a 2-0 lead. To the crease, Fiore scores! Tony Fiore, IHL lead, 2-0! Tony Fiore on the deflection, and the IHL All-Stars lead suddenly 2-0. Booms in. Less than three minutes later, the U.S. team broke back. Ed Olchek and Pat LaFontaine collaborating at 7.36. LaFontaine's 51st from Olchek and Dave Jensen, and the IHL lead had shrunk to 2-1. to one. Off wing for Olchek. Now Olchek at center motors in over the IHL line. Ready for for LaFontaine. Jet score! Pat LaFontaine at the 2-1 to one IHL All-Star lead. 20 seconds later, the U.S. team rushed right back. Gary Sampson of Boston College scoring his 21st goal of the season from Chris Chelios and Steve Griffin, 7.56, and the first period ended in a two-all tie. HL All-Star lead from the faceoff. Chelios has the line on the right defense. At center for Griffin, all the line, left wing circle. U.S. outshot the IHL in the first period, 14-12. We're all set for second period action. IHL 2, U.S. Olympic Team 2. In of the IHL All-Stars, 12 shots. Both goaltenders were tantamount to success. They were paramount in that first period. Referee tonight is Dave Fisher, and the linesman Lou Cortese and Kevin Flood. Great to have you with us tonight. IHL All-Star game, historical hockey happening in Kalamazoo. IHL All-Stars and the U.S. Olympic team after tonight. The U.S. Olympic team only has two more performances in this country before they head for Sarajevo, Yugoslavia, 
to successfully defend the gold medal that they won so remarkably in 1980. All ready to go, Pat LaFontaine with his 51st goal in that opening period for the U.S. And he will be our special guest at our second intermission tonight. And Rob Davies for the Kalamazoo Wings from the IHL. I think you'll find the interview with Pat LaFontaine very refreshing. What just a just a very wonderful individual, very personable, very precocious youngster at the age of 18. And it was a joy to not only interview him today, but it was just a real joy to have an opportunity to visit with him at some length today at the All-Star Luncheon. From the face-off, the puck skims into the U.S. zone, tracked down beyond the goal by Chelios, left wing corner to Hirsch. Back beyond the goal for Chelios, Davies shadowing in a rather voracious mood. Now Chelios wheels on left wing at center, he swept it in beyond the goal, swooping in after this Hirsch, he scraped it out the backboard. Right in front for Jensen, shot, what a save by Mullican at the crease. Rebound left wing boards for LaFontaine, left point for Old Check. He stroked it in beyond the goal. Mullican comes out to intercede around the boards on left wing for Falkenberg, blocking the blue line by Old Check. Left to there is the blue line for Jensen. Jensen steered it in beyond the goals. He was thumped by Tut. Dug out beyond the goal by Bolden. Leading into the right wing boards for Schreiber to his own line for Davies. That puck just snaked off his stick to center zone. LaFontaine lost control to Schreiber. Bobby Schreiber on right wing at center. Over the line with a shot right down. Oh, an electrifying skate save by Barron. Puck controlled by Chelios. Now Chris Chelios for the U.S. Motors to center. He drifts it in beyond the IHL goal. Playing the carom off the backboards. Vic Moore and U.S. changes. Now Vic Moore from the Fort Wayne Comets. He leads it his own line crisply for Rob Davies. Now Davies wheels in the middle at center. Breakaway pass on the line for Gruel. In the with a shot. What a save by Parham. Rebound along the boards. U.S. player is injured. It's Fusco as he went tumbling into the boards. Puck in behind the goal. Digging it out. For the IHL is Morin. Around the boards on the left wing for Gruel. They clear the middle and Bob Brook blocked at right point. He drove it around the boards right side. For Morn, Morn thump Burkota along the boards. They jostle for it vigorously and lock it up. No further play. Mark Fusco really went tumbling into the backboards behind the U.S. goal, and he landed flush on his shoulder. And he immediately hobbled, skated very gingerly to the U.S. bench and trainer. Dennis Helwig is now administering to uh, Fusco, the standout from Harvard. From the faceoff, behind the goal, controlled by the IHL. Now Vic Moore and motors into the straightaway. It's a breakaway pass from McGinnis, crossing the U.S. line. That was broken up by Jensen on left wing at center of Paul Gay. Checked by Rosanzov, swept back into the U.S. zone by Scott Gruel. Covering left wing boards is Jensen. Jensen whips the pass to an open wing, covering for the IHL is Harrison. On left wing at center, he drove it in behind the goal. Barron out of the goal, swept it around the boards. Gruel lurking in the shadows, right side of digging out diligently. He's jammed along the boards by Gruel, but he's centered it in front for Rosanzov. He was thumped neatly on the defense, and it was sent to center zone over the blue line. And they lock it up just outside the U.S. line. Vic Morin from the IHL. And Paul Gay for the U.S. Olympic team. No further play. We play 2-16 middle period. And it's a two-all tie. Last goal in this game. Game at 7:56. Opening period. Sampson from Chelios and Griffith. A two-goal U.S. strike in 20 seconds to erase a 2-0 deficit. In the face of Danielle LaCour on left wing. Over the U.S. line. Left wing. Serve over Yakachuk. Shot. That's wide. Rebound right point for Scott McGowan. Although the boards for Preston into the corner for Yakachuk. Right point for McGowan. Pinch again as he pulled over the U.S. player and he's hurt. As he went tumbling, Mark Kumpel, the puck skid to center zone. LaCour romps over the line. Left wing circle shot right up. Kicked out by Barron. Puck along the boards. Dug out by the U.S. team. Chelios on right wing. At center for Harrington over the IHL line. He sent it for Jensen in front, and Yakachuk came back and broke it up. Now Yakachuk motors up the right side at center of the IHL. Over the U.S. line. Wheels left wing circle into the corner. Swoops in beyond the goal. Still has it wheeling to the right wing boards. Yakachuk pulls up and then lost control. And back comes the U.S. at center of the Fontaine. Over the IHL line. Right in front for Jensen. Checked neatly by Kevin Willison. Willison for the IHL and left wing at center for Preston. Over the U.S. line for Daniel Core. He wheels left wing circle working on Chelios who brought him off. Chelios controls behind the goal. 
He just fired it off the boards, past Bourne at the right point in New IHL territory. Chiefs down behind the goal by Brian Tuff. In pursuit is Old Check. His clearing pass blocked right point by Jensen. Jensen along the boards. He bursts into the right wing circle. Wheels into the corner. He was muscled there by Aurelio. And the IHL breaks out of the pack. Fiore on left wing at center of Bernie Gallant. Oh, the U.S. line right in front for Fiore. And I afraid he came back and spilled Fiore. It skins of the blue line. Contained left point by Tuff. Along the boards for Aurelio. He was checked by a sprawling at Old Check. Old Check throw it into IHL territory. Covering behind the goal of the IHL is Vic Morin. Now Morin at his own line. At center over the U.S. line of Fiore left wing circle. Right in front for Aurelio. Back and roll. Oh, remarkable save by Perrin. Point blank range. Puck him behind the goal. Dug out by Aya Frady. Aya Frady's clearing pass on right wing for Harrington at center for Griffith over the line along the right wing board to the left point Sampson's back counter blocked in front by Tony Fiore Fiore in his own corner he was checked along the boards by Vercota but covering up behind the goal Scott uh, Brian Tutt now Tutt just leaves it behind the goal for Morin Morin just sailed into the blue line glove down left point by Jensen checked neatly by Herreliu he poked it into the corner Covering there is Vic Moore, and he fired it into the U.S. bench at center ice. No further play. 15-15 left, middle period. Two all tie. This is IHL All-Star Hockey. Did he just leave? play. McGowan on left wing at center of Dave Falkenberg. Checked by Brook, but trailing for the IHL on left wing is Harrison. He drove it in beyond the goal. Digging it out diligently is Jensen. Jensen along the board. Checked by Wally Schreiber. He poked it back into the corner. Fusco is there. Beyond the goal for Brook. Muscle at the back boards robustly by Falkenberg but it squirms left side of the goal. Tracked down by the U.S. Jensen at center. For Gay over the IHL line is fast broken up by Rob Davies. For the IHL he steered at the center zone. Handled like Jensen. Now Dave Jensen leaves for Gay back to his own line. The right defense for Bob Brook motoring to center. His pass knocked down by Davies. He recaptures it for Gay. On left wing of the center red line for Jensen. Jensen drifts it in front of the IHL goal. Knocked down by Harrison. Feeding for Rob Davies in the middle of the center. Skidded off his stick to the right wing boards where Shriver was choked along the boards robustly by Hirsch. Skids into the IHL zone for McGowan. On the left defense for Harrison. Now Steve Harrison, rink one on the right defense for McGowan, and he loads him. It was too far to center zone. Wrapped back into the corner by Fusco. Swooping in after it along the board with Thomas giving a rough ride by Harrison. IHO will start out. Davies in the middle of center for him again is checked by Hirsch. Peeling back to cradle it is Thomas for the U.S. We're back into his own right wing circle on the defense for Chelios. On right wing at center for Thomas. He bursts it over the IHL line. Centered it for Millen right in front. He was checked by McGinnis. Back on the IHL. On right wing motoring to center is Scott Gruel over the U.S. line. He swoops in on the goal. Both right in front with a shot. Rebound in the three. Score! In McGinnis. IHL is three to two. Scott Cruz point blank thrust at 625 and the IHL has reclaimed the lead at 3 to 2. The U.S. has never allowed. They tied it once rallying from a 2 nothing deficit. Ian McGinnis from the Peoria Prancers. An IHL rookie this season. Scott Gruel on the assist. And for uh, McGinnis, that, he had scored 23 goals this season with Peoria. Grohl, the single assist. All the IHL goals with one assist. Time 625. And the faceoff, Jensen. Right in front of LaFontaine. Shot over top of that. He really blistered it. Puck him behind the goal. Fontaine brought it. Lugged it right in front. Poked away neatly by the net. Minor Mollican. Control on right wing. It's center by Ian McGinnis. Over the line for Rosendo. Right wing circle. And LaFontaine came back and rode him off. Puck control at center zone again by the IHL. 
Cut on right wing. All with the U.S. line for Gruel. Gruel on the boards. He was cracked down by Fusco. There'll be a U.S. penalty to Scott Fusco at 7.05. This will be the IHL's first power play of the night with 12.55 left. Middle period. It's a 3-2 IHL lead. Ian McGinnis from Scott Gruel at 6.25. The IHL with its first power play. It's Scott Fusco, who injured his shoulder momentarily, but has returned at 7.05. Two minutes for a holding. Face out left of Barron. U.S. goal. It'll be Rosanzoff for the IHL. Samson for the U.S. Rosanzoff won it. Right point for McGowan. No point for Harris on the shot. That's wide. Rebound side of the goal. Dug out neatly by Jensen, who took it off the stick of Rosenzov. He wheels to the right wing boards. His pass deflected off the stick of, John, of Harrison all the way into IHL territory. Handled by McGowan on right wing at center for Ian McGinnis. He motors in over the U.S. line. He wheels right in front for Rosenzov. Shot! He telegraphed it. Blocked by Jensen. Skid to the right point where McGowan fired to the crease. Score! Scott McGowan of the IHL leads 4-2. McGowan stuck that shot home through a forest of legs at the right point. Power play goal at 7.36. And the IHL is struck with a two-goal outburst in a minute and 11 seconds as they capitalize on their first power play of the night. And they've restored their two-goal cushion at 4-2. to two. From the faceoff. Puck snails in front of the U.S. goal. Tom Hirsch on the left defense to collect it. I think they printed the goal to Gruel on the deflection. That centers off the U.S. Chelios in the IHL territory. Drove it into the corner for Gay. Gay jostled by Preston. Back comes the IHL. Warren steams to center over the U.S. line. Ryakachuk pulls up right at the blue line. Right side. He closes right in front for the core. Right point for Preston. Right wing circle for the core. The shot right on. Stick save Barron. Rebound to the blue line. Right point. Warren fired. Blocked right in front of the goal by Bukestad and cleared to center zone by Chelios. Controlled Chelios himself. Wheeling at center zone. All the IHL line. Wheeling along the boards. He was stumped on the defense by Warren. Dug out diligently behind the goal by Akachuk and he has swept it around the left wing boards. Down ice. Back to reach it for the USIL Iafredi. IHL charged with icing break in the action. IHL four. U.S. Olympic team two. This is IHL All-Star Hockey. Apparently drool touch today. I don't feel like McGowan's shot went in all the way and nobody. Like one of those the other night here. Yeah. It was. play Bernie Gallant bursts in over the U.S. line he wheels right in front and he was thumped from behind on the defense by Gary Hayde as that puck just slithered into the crease and Mark Barron pounced on top of that one energetically for the U.S. no further play the IHL two goal outburst in 71 seconds Ian McGinnis from Peoria from Scott Gruel of Muskegon at 625 and then Scott Gruel apparently nudged Scott McGowan's shot from the right point that really traveled through a forest of legs to the crease. Gruel from McGowan at 736. So Scott Gruel has been the spark plug here in this second period for the IHL All-Stars, restoring their two-goal lead at 4-2. They led earlier 2-0 before the U.S. roared back to tie it. Their two goals in a 20-second blitz. And the face-off. Control by the U.S. Jensen springs out of the pack in the middle of the center of Pat LaFontaine. He couldn't reach that. Wrapped back to the U.S. line by Willison. And from the right defense, Bob Brook launched it into the penalty box at center zone across the way from us. No further play. 10.59 left, second period. All-Stars 4, U.S. 2. Davies, Fiore, McGinnis, and Gruel connecting for the IHL. Gruel with a goal and an assist in this second period for the IHL Stars. 
Then the face up. Jensen in his own line in the middle of center. Four of the five. Team. That one became airborne. Glass off the fine team's leg. Outside the IHL line. Controlled by Rob Davies. And right wing along the boards. He was squeezed there by Jensen. Jensen's pass in the middle of the ice was knocked great right back to the side of the U.S. goal by Harrison. Now cavorting behind the goal, the cradle is Bob Brooks. Breakaway pass the center roll check. He was behind the defense into the corner, but Mulligan came out, scrubbed it around the board. LaFontaine is there to dig it out. He wheels in beyond the goal, working on Harrison to give him a rough right of the backboard. But dug out the backboard by Jensen, right point for Brook. A high drive over top of that. Rebound up the backboards, all the way back into U.S. territory. Behind the goal, the netminder Baron drove it around the boards on right wing. At center, Pat LaFontaine, he jets over the IHL line. Wheels right in front. He's hooked by Falkenberg, trailing the play old check. Oh, he raked it over top of that penalty coming up to Falkenberg, who hooked Pat LaFontaine from behind. No further play. 9.59 left, middle period. IHL All-Stars four. And the U.S. Olympic team, too. That time, Pat LaFontaine exploded out of the pack. And the 51 goal Imperial Impresario, as he was pouring and boring into the doorstep, was impeded from behind by an inhibiting Dave Falkenberg at 10.01. U.S. with their third power play of the night. They trail 4-2. to two. Thus far, the IHL All-Stars have defused and otherwise disarmed this highly touted U.S. Olympic team power play. Bernie Gallant for the IHL. And Scott Fusco on the face of Fusco won it. Left point for Hirsch. Right point for Chelios. Now Chris Chelios. Left point for Hirsch. Now Hirsch. Rick wide right wing. Sort of rebuke step. The right shot is right on. And Malikin is there to close the door. No further play. And Lauren Malikin has been superlative in the IHO goal tonight. He's the two-time winner. Uh, the Norris Trophy is the league's stingiest nutminder in the IHL for two-time Turner Cup champion Toledo. Face-off left of him in the All-Star goal. Galan and Fusco. Six come down. One by Goliath. And traffic controlled by Scott McGowan. Heel of the circle and he whipped it off the left wing boards. Down ice for the IHL. Mark Barron right side of the goal. Swept it away just barely from the onrushing Neil Hurriliu. And seeking shelter with it behind the goal is Chris Chelios, the Montreal Canadiens draft choice. Now Chelios lugs it into the straightaway at center. Paul Gay hits the IHL line, fleeced off his stick and nudged the center by Willison, covering his Neil Herilio. Now Herilio on right wing at center for Bernie Galan. He zooms in over the U.S. line. Left wing circle for Willison. Shadow in the goal post. And back comes the U.S. Chelios at center. For Fusco, he drove it into the IHL right wing corner. Gay jostles for it vigorously with McGowan. Gallant and Herilio come in to secure Scott Fusco. No further play. Boy, Kevin Willison, who has scored two short-handed goals this season for Milwaukee. And from the left wing circle, he really uncorked the sizzler and he crashed it off the goal post behind an obviously victimized Mark Barron, but this time. The U.S. goaltender found the goalpost as his true ally. They saw right of Mollican, still one minute left in Falkenberg's penalty for Toledo in the IHL. LaFontaine in the faceoff against Rosenza. Sticks come down, puck not drop. Sticks come down, puck not drop. Every time Kevin Flood is the linesman, we never have a, we have to wait three or four times. Now from the face of LaFontaine, won it. Left wing circle for Jensen. Right in front for LaFontaine. He fired it through the crease. Oh, what a save by Mollican. And the puck lands on the back of the net and it's pinned right there. By Chell Ball star defense from Brian Tutt. No further play. Boy, that Pat LaFontaine is an exciting hockey player. Plays the game with great animation, full expression, lots of exuberance. And he is a very skilled and really a very silk sleek satin uh, individual. Boy, he plays the game effortlessly. What an asset he will be to the New York Islanders at the conclusion of the Olympic uh, Games in February. 
From the face up, old check won it. From Rosanthoff, right point for Brook. Right wing boards for Jensen. He curls it on the boards. Right point for Brook. Left point for LaFontaine. His pass was blocked by McGinnis. Along the boards, Corey Millen was checked by McGinnis. And it's finally muscled to center zone by Moore to drum LaFontaine to the ice. Covering is Corey Millen. Now Rick Red and Rick Wing for Brooks at center. Over the IHL line. Rick Red left wing boards for Old Check. Left over trailing Millen in the circle. Left point for Pat LaFontaine. Left wing second for Millen. He moves right in front. Shot score! Corey Millen. And it's a 4 3 IHL lead. George Gagnon, the Kalamazoo Wings goaltender, will replace the IHL starting goaltender in the Toledo Gold Diggers, Lauren Malik, and lift from the crowd, the Spring Stadium crowd with the hometown hero in goal. George Gagnon, the winningest, most active goaltender in Kalamazoo Wings hockey history, his fifth campaign and his first ever star appearance. He replaces Lauren Mollikin at the 11.46 mark of the second period, concurrent with the U.S. Olympic team's first power play goal and three opportunities to shave the IHL All-Star team's lead to 4-3. to three. Nope. Has been issued the stern challenge and responsibility of preserving this suddenly fragile one goal lead for the IHL All-Stars. The IHL has never trailed. This is their second lead. Both leads at one time were two goals. All ready to go. Daniel will be in goal to our left. And in goal to our right for the U.S. team, Mark Barron. From the face out at the U.S. line, I have Freddy's. Process on the right defense for Haig. His pass blocked in the middle line by Davies, but hurrying to cover up with Sampson. He wraps up the left side at center. All of the IHL line working on Harrison into the corner. He centered right in front for Rakota, and he was checked by Davies, who peeled back beautifully. Puck is loose behind the goal. Gagnon came out of the goal. Stood it around the boards. Blocked left point by Ayafredi, pinching him. Assertively from the blue line. He drove it to me on the goal. Willison is there to cover up. Around the boards on left waiver. Fogelberg at center for Davies. Over the line for Schreiber. He's in alone. Oh, and coming back. That was Raya Frady brilliantly to check him. It's loose to the left wing boards. Dug out diligently by Verkota. Verkota on the board. Checked by Davies who dug it away. Davies in the corner. Into the circle. Side of the goal for Schreiber. Oh, as he was tumbling to the ice. He swept it right through the crease. And it's fired down ice by the U.S. team. And Steve Griffith played on the left wing. and center by Kevin Willison. He drove it in beyond the U.S. goal. Tracked down by Tom Hirsch for the U.S. Olympic team. Leading to the right wing boards. For Gary Hape, his pass deflected airborne by the IHL Scott Cruel, but covering up his hate himself, he wrapped at the center's home. Brian Tutts pass deflected off the stick of Corey Millen into the IHL bench. No further play. 7-0-1 left, middle period. IHL All-Stars four, and the U.S. Olympic team three, and the face-off forthcoming center zone. I want to remind you that the U.S. Olympic team's leading scorer and number one draft choice of the New York Islanders, Pat LaFontaine, will be our special guest at our second intermission tonight. From the face-off puck in behind the ice, the U.S. goal. Kirsch lost control to McGinnis. Now McGinnis wheels right point for McGowan. The shot, that was just why. Rebounds to the goal for Gruel. Gruel sharp angle shot into the crease. McGinnis bangs at it. Remarkable save by Barron. Contain right point by McGowan. Left point for Tut. Screen shot right up. Barron the save. Rebound right in front. Gruel shot score. Scott Gruel. IHL age high three. of this three-goal second period uprising for the IHL. Gruel, who missed the first 26 games this season with an knee injury, has still produced 40 points, 20 goals, and 20 assists in 20 games. And he has scored two goals and an assist 
two goals and an assist to spark the IHL All-Stars, accounting for all three of their goals in this final period of the IHL has restored their two-goal grip. That goal coming less than two minutes after Corey Millen had brought the U.S. team back to within one. Brewer's second goal. By the face of Puck behind the goal. U.S. goal. Controlled by Brooke. His pass at center. That was stopped by LaCour. He drove it in behind the goal. Digging it out at the backboards. In the corner is Brooke. Now Brooke. Pass to the blue line. Block right point by Moore. Right wing circle repressed and shot. Right on. What a save by Barron. Rebound deep in the left wing circle. Controlled by Pat LaFontaine. He just ripped it to center zone. Controlled by Moore. Over the U.S. line for Daly. check it. He's offside by a the left wing with the IHL. No further play. 553 left middle period. IHL All Stars 5, U.S. Olympic Team 3. This is All Star Hockey. Ficarelli rejoining you live from Wing Stadium, Kalamazoo. 536 left, second period. IHL All-Stars 5, U.S. Olympic Team 3. And the face out will have its occurrence deep in U.S. territory to the right of goaltender Mark Barron. Tony Fiore for the IHL and Gary Sampson for the U.S. Sticks come down, puck not dropped. Sticks come down, puck drop. Fiore won it. Right point for McGowan. McGowan wrapped it in behind the goal. Digging out Aya Frady. Now Aya Frady's clearing pass on the right wing. Circle for Gary Sampson. He springs out of the pack, motoring the center. He zooms in over the IHL line around Willis, and he dashes into the corner. Thumped by McGowan, who came back. Covering up behind the goal is Willison. At his own line for Fiore at center over the U.S. line on left wing where Bernie Gallant. He working on Gary Hayde. He swoops him in the goal. Hate gave him a rough right of the backboard. All the way to the blue line. McGowan forcing the issue, pitching him to the right point. Right wing circle for Neil Herrillo. Correct to the right point for McGowan with a shot right up. Bearing the save. Rebound along the blue line. Left point. Gallant fired. That one was deflected to the glass by Griffith. And back comes the U.S. At center zone, Vercota was skidded off by Harrison. It came back. Harrison with the eye chill on left wing at center for Kevin Willison. Willison just flutters it into U.S. territory. Covering up deep in their left wing circle is her. She snaps the pass on left wing at center for Fusco. Spun around by Schreiber. Back comes the eye chill. Davies at center over the uh, U.S. liner. Fogelberg left at left point for Tut. Right up with a shot. Skate save Baron. Rebound left point for Tut again. Left wing boards for Schreiber. Schreiber was checked up on the boards by Haight. Haight worked it loose on right wing for Scott Bukestad. In the middle at center for Paul Gay. Zooms in over the line with a shot from the top of the circle just wide. Rebound along the boards. Dug out by Hurst charging him in the left point. Left wing corner for Paul Gay. Gay wheel centered it. Right point. Chelios fired. Blocked by Falkenberg. Back comes the IHL. Three on one. Davies at center. Tears over the U.S. line. Right in front for Falkenberg. And it rolled off the stick of the crease. Knocked away by Barron. Right wing corner for Chelios. Chelios leads cross ice on left wing for Paul Gay. Gay just stroked that in behind the goal. Covering up as Moore and both teams changed. Moore and sailed it up on left wing for Gruel at center. Checked by Chelios. He motors in over the IHL line. Wheels in behind the goal. Center to the crease. Oh, Jensen failed to convert. IHL controls. Now Davies takes the pass from Schreiber in the middle of center at the IHL line on the right wing of the U.S. line versus Gruel. That was broken up and back comes the U.S. Chelios from his own side of center. Drove it to the side of the goal. Daniel comes out clear the blue line. A hole check. Left wing single shot. Cut the five to four. Pat LaFontaine with his 
his second goal and his third point of the night, matching his adversary, Scott Grew. As this game continues, the seesaw, it's a 5-4 IHL lead. The IHL has struck three times, the U.S. twice in this period. That's the Fontaine's 52nd goal. And the face of left wing boards for Scott Grew for the IHL. He just looped at the center zone, steered right back to the IHL line by Bob Rook. Controlled on the defense by Morin. Rink one in the left defense for Willison in the middle. At center for Grant Rosanzov. It traveled two lines offside. Lafontaine from Hirsch, and it should have been Olchek at 16.49. It was Olchek's initial shot that Gagnon saved, and then Lafontaine wrapped home the rebound. So it should be Lafontaine from Olchek and Hirsch. I'm sure that'll be changed. It was Olchek who fired the initial shot. That's three assists tonight for Ed Olchek. the face out controlled by the u.s jensen over the line with a high drive right on Gagnon found that one on the radar screen and brought it down high high for the ihl all-stars and the calabasu wings no further play 242 left middle period five four ihl lead resends up and Sampson, Rosanne's off one, behind the goal for McGowan, around the boards, a left wing for Gruel, at center for Ian McGinnis, he bolts in over the U.S. line along the boards, he pulls up, Rick one to the right point for McGowan, McGowan fired, it was knocked down in front by Sampson, Sampson in the middle, center for Steve Griffith, he tears in over the IHL line for Sampson, in behind the goal for Vercota, thumped by McGinnis, puck into the corner, dug out, by Ricotta on a second effort. Checked again by McGinnis on a second effort. McGinnis put it around the boards. Blocked by Iafredi. Side of the goal for Ricotta. His pass broken up by Cruel. Cruel wraps the center of the U.S. line. Left wing circle. Cruel's right in front of the shot. He raked it over top of the Back to the side of the goal. Cruel stole it. Right in front of the shot. Perrin close the door. Rebound is airborne. Loved him on the goal by Bob Brook. Now Brooke leads to the right wing boys for Griffith. Lost it to Yakuchuk. Set it from McGinnis in front. He fired it through the crease. Puck into the corner. Dug out by the U.S. On left wing, Paul Gabe in the middle at center for Griffith. Cracked by Preston. Rolls in the IHL territory. Controlled by Yakuchuk on the left wing at center for Danielle Lacour. He darts in over the U.S. line. Drove it in beyond the goal. And he loses Barron into the corner. Swooping it after it is Preston. He pressed him for the IHL. Jolted around the boards. Rather lustily by Scott Bukestad. And they'll lock it up. No further play. 118 left middle period. IHL All-Stars 5. U.S. Olympic team 4. Face out left of goaltender Mark Barron, who's gone all the way in the U.S. goal. Well, it'll be interesting to see the attendance tonight. I'll tell you, this is a huge crowd. They're sitting in the aisles tonight. Face off left of the goaltender. Mark Barron, Yakachuk in the face off. He won it. Left point for Willis M. That shot was blocked by Bukestad, but deflects him beyond the goal where Yakachuk was rudely upended by Chelios. They jam for it lustily. Yakachuk on a second effort. Behind the goal for the Corey center to the crease. The puck reptile. Then Gay was there to block that with a minute left in the period. He deposits it right wing corner for Chelios who wrapped at the center. Control by Tut. Brian Tuff of the IHL on right wing for Preston still at center. He drove it off the U.S. backboards. Chelios controls that, and he sailed it to the IHL line. Controlled by Brian Tutt on the left wing at center for Yakachuk. He just rolls it along the boards into the corner. Covering up for the U.S. is Hirsch. Leading on left wing at center for Corey Millen. Beyond him, Tutt for the IHL. Drove it back in the U.S. territory. Controlled at center zone again by Tutt. Tut steered it to the U.S. line. Chelios broke that up, drove it into the U IHL zone. Now Willison will start out in the middle at center for Gallant. He springs to the U.S. line, checked by Chelios, controlled by LaFontaine. In the middle, center for Jensen, over the IHL line, left wing. Now for LaFontaine, he wheels in front. He was checked neatly by Gallant, who came back, and it's fired down ice at the horn. Second period action concluded from Wing Stadium, Kalamazoo, in this 18th IHL All-Star game. And it has been a very exciting and pulsating game thus far tonight. The IHL All-Stars 
maintaining the lead. They squandered it once at 2-0, and then they were tied 2-2. They sprung into a 4-2 lead before the U.S. team registered to make it 4-3. The IHL came back to make it 5-3, and then the U.S. struck back to close the gap again to 5-4. Scott Gruel, two goals and an assist for the IHL All-Stars. Pat LaFontaine, two goals and an assist. He's the leading scorer for the U.S. Olympic team, not only tonight, but through their season thus far. Terry Piccarelli rejoining you with our second intermission. Wing Stadium, Kalamazoo, the IHL All-Stars opposing the U.S. Olympic team. And after two periods of play, it's the IHL All-Stars 5, the U.S. Olympic team 4. We have five goals to show you for this second period action. Ian McGinnis, the Peoria Prancers Young Rookie of the Year candidate, scored at 625 early in that second period to restore the lead to the IHL. McGinnis rebounding home. Scott Grew shot at the crease. McGinnis from Groove at 625. And the IHL triggered a three-goal second period uprising, taking the lead again 3-2. The cradle it is Thomas for the U.S. We're back into his own right wing circle on the defense for Chelios. On right wing at center for Thomas. He burst into the IHL line. Centered it for Millen right in front. He was checked by McGinnis. Back on the IHL. On right wing motoring to center is Scott Gruel over the U.S. line. He swoops in behind the goal. Bolts right in front with a shot. Rebound in the crease. Score! Neil McGinnis. IHL is 3-2. Seventy-one seconds later, Scott Gruel converted on a Scott McGowan point shot. McGowan from the Kalamazoo Wings on the first power play goal in the first opportunity. IHL regained the two-goal grip, four to two. Handled by McGowan on right wing at center. Ian McGinnis. He motors in over the U.S. line. He wheels right in front for a sub. The shot. He telegraphed it. Blocked by Jensen. Skid to the right point where McGowan fired to the crease. Score. Scott McGowan of the IHL leads four to two. Four minutes later, the U.S. broke right back of a power play goal on their own. Corey Millen from the left wing circle blazed the shot past Lauren Mollican. Millen's 12 from LaFontaine and Old Check, 11 46. IHL lead it shrunk to 4 to 3. Covering is Corey Millen. Now Rick Wood and Rick Wing for Brooks at center. Over the IHL line. Rick Wood left wing boards for Old Check. Lutherford trailing Millen in the circle. Left point for Pat LaFontaine. Left wing circle for Millen. He moved right in front. Shot score! Corey Millen. And it's a 4 3 IHL lead. A minute and 43 seconds later, with Kalamazoo Wings goaltender George Gagnon inserted for Toledo starting netminder Lauren Mollican, the IHL All-Stars broke right back. 13-29, Scott Gruel, Muskegon Mohawks left winger connecting for his second goal in that three goals second period surge for the IHL All-Stars. Ian McGinnis and Brian Tutt the assist at 13-29, and the IHL had reclaimed its two-goal grip at 5-3. Three minutes and 20 seconds after Scott Gruel registered his second goal of the game, Pat LaFontaine for the U.S. answered for his second goal of the game, his 52nd of the season at 16:49. His line mates Ed Olchek and Tom Hirsch assisting. The second period ended with the IHL clinging to a very precarious 5-4 lead. Chelios from his own side of center, drove to the side of the goal. Daniel comes out, clear the blue line. A hold check, left wing circle, shot! Oh, LaFonte right in front, shot score! Pat LaFonte! And the IHL lead is cut to five to four. At center zone again by Tut. Tut steered it to the U.S. line. Chelios broke that up.
Larry Ficarelli rejoining you live. Wing Stadium, Kalamazoo. We're all set for third period action. The IHL All-Stars who have led throughout the game, five, and the U.S. Olympic team, four. Scott Grew with the two goals and an assist. He was very instrumental in that IHL three-goal second period scourge. Pat LaFontaine with two goals and an assist for the U.S. Olympic team. Want to remind you that we will feature our Insurance Service Center Stars of the Game show after tonight's action. And tonight we will be featuring the most valuable players from each team, the IHL All-Stars and the U.S. Olympic team at Center Ice, a special edition of the Insurance Service Center Stars of the Game show. Tonight we will feature the most valuable players from both teams and both will receive a beautiful Seiko Watch compliments of Zales Jewelers in Kalamazoo. All ready to go. Third period action. Mark Barron, the elongated one in gold while left for the U.S. Olympic team. And George Kenya in gold while right for the IHL representing the local team, the Kalamazoo Wings. Rob Davies from the Kalamazoo Wings, who scored once tonight. Pat LaFontaine with two goals and an assist for the U.S. His lineman Ed Olchek with three assists from the faceoff. Control at center zone, Chris Chelios for the U.S. He drifts it in behind the IHL goal, tracked down by Morin. Morin's pass blocked by Chelios, who anticipated pinching him from the right point. He was checked in the corner, though, by Vic Morin. Morin just rolled at the center zone. Pat LaFontaine controls. Now LaFontaine on the left wing, hits the IHL All-Star line, poked off a stick by Rob Davies, but it was offside, no further play. Played 22 seconds of the third period, 5-4. IHL lead, Scott Grohl with two goals and an assist tonight. Tony Fiore, Rob Davies, and Ian McGinnis have also connected. All the wings have been in action. George Gagnon in goal. Scott McGowan has one assist on the lone IHL power play goal, which was produced by Scott Gruel. And Rob Davies opened the scoring tonight. In the face of McGowan behind his own goal. Left wing corners. Kevin Willison chased him behind the goal by Jensen. Around the boards on right wing for Ian McGinnis. Now McGinnis back around the boards on left wing for Kevin Willison. Willison just swept at the center zone. Back pedaling with it at the U.S. line is Hirsch. Rink one on the right defense for LaFontaine. His pass blocked at center by Rosanzo. He wraps over the line with a shot right on. Darren Pat save. Rebound right wing serve at Chelios. In the middle center for Fontaine. His pass broken up by McGowan. Oh, the U.S. line. Regret Rosanzo, but Scott Grew is still vacating. U.S. territory, and he's offset on left wing with the IHL. No further play at the 59 second mark, third period. IHL five, U.S. team of four. Face will be outside the U.S. blue line across the way from us on the IHL right wing. All ready to go. He acted check. In the face of Sampson. One by Sampson in front of the goal for Bob Brook for the U.S. Now Brook leads on right wing at center for Gary Sampson over the IHL line for Burkota. He was really racked off his skates by Warren. Controlled in front of the goal by Harrison. His pass blocked by Brook. Left wing circle. Right in front of Burkota. Shot at the goal post. Yakuchuk crashed into the goal post in an effort to defend and protect Ganyam. And that uprooted the net. Off the pipe at the right goal post. No further play. Oh, Phil Verkota just poured right in. And somehow he missed. Boy, I don't know how he missed that one. It looked like the U.S. had tied it for the second time tonight. They have never led. The faceoff will originate outside. Well, let's check. Inside now. Inside the U.S. and the IHL line. It'll be Fiore for the IHL. He's connected tonight. Scott Fusco for the U.S. Sticks come down. One by Fiore in front of the goal for Brian Tut. Now Tut at his own line for Fiore. His pass broken up at center by Fusco. He motors in over the IHL line. Right wing boards for Gay. Check by Aurelio. Go that springs out of the pack at center. Over the U.S. line, left wing. He wheels. Bayfair with a shot. Oh, what a save by Barron. Rebound to the left point. Tut fired the flight right through the crease by Fiore. Parked in front. Puck along the boards. Fiore dug it out right side. His back pass broken up neatly 
On the defense by Aya Freddy. He whipped it down ice, reaching up beyond the goal. For the IHL is Brian Tup. Icing charge against the U.S. The attendance tonight, standing room only, 5,284. 5,284. Standing room only tonight. The capacity of Wing Stadium is 5,138. So we have almost 150 standing tonight. Face of left of Barron, U.S. goal. Davies and LaFontaine on the faceoff. Schreiber, the trigger man, arc of the circle over Davies' left shoulder. Now Falkenberg and Chelios at close quarters. Now we're ready. Waiting for the linesman. Sticks come down. One by Davies. He turned it directly to the trigger man, Schreiber, as he was spilled by Harris. Instead, it's controlled by Jensen. At center roll, check. Over the ice show line. Pumped on the defense by McGowan, who's had a strong game tonight. But dug out in the corner by Jensen. Right point for Chelios. Right in front from LaFontaine. And McGowan was there again to break it up. On left wing at center for Davies. Over the U.S. line. Right in front for McGowan. McGowan back to the blue line for Schreiber in the corner for Davies. Davies along the board, stumped by Hirsch. Dug out behind the goal by LaFontaine. He cleared the blue line. Blocked left point by Harrison. Screenshot right down. Baron the save. And he squeezes it in the midsection with Falkenberg and Chelios jostling each other at the crease behind the netminder. 17-31 left. Third period. 5-4 IHL lead. Face off, forthcoming right of Barron. U.S. goal. Again, stay tuned for a special edition of the Insurance Service Center Stars of the Game Show. We will feature the most valuable player from both teams at center ice right after tonight's action. Resends off in the face off with Sampson, right of Barron. U.S. goal. Won by Sampson. Right wing boards commandeered by Brook at center for Verkota. Verkota swoops it after him. Down the goal after it's getting it off. It's Katie squeezes squeezing the backboards by Moore. But trailing the play is Griffith. Now Griffith wheels left wing circle. Left point for Aya Freddy. His pass knocked down neatly by McGinnis, who cleared to center. Controlled by Sampson all the way to his own line for Bob Brook. On left wing for Jensen. Now Jensen cross ice for Sampson. Interrupted by Scott Gruel for the IHL. Gruel from center. He fluttered it into the corner. Chased down by Brook. Now Bob Brook beyond the goal. Around the boards on left wing for Bill Furcota. He just wrapped it to center zone. Now Morin lost it there to Jensen. He hurries in over the IHL line. Right wing circle for Fusco. Left point for Brook. Shot blocked in front beautifully by Morin. Puck along the boards. Dug out by Paul G. Swoops in beyond the goal. Working at Rosenza who wrote him up. Dug out beyond the goal by Vercota. Thumped by Rosenza. Dug out left wing corner by Brian Tuck for the IHL. He sends it wiggling to the U.S. line. Commandeered on the defense by a backpedaling Al Iafredi. He just steered it in beyond the IHL goal. Then LFI icing. Tut controls. Brian Tut around the boards on left wing for Scott Gruel. At center for Yakachuk. He dashes in over the U.S. line. Wheels to the right wing boards. He steered it in beyond the goals. He was stumped along those boards by Iafredi. Dug out by Gary Haight. Haight in the middle of center for Scott Fusco. On left wing for Iafredi. Cracked by Yakachuk. He lost the stick but poked to the U.S. line by a trailing E. Preston. Now Preston really bowled over Fusco to the side of the goal. Covering up for the U.S. is Gary Haight. He lugs it into the straightaway at center, reaches the IHL line, centered in front for game. Knocked away by Harrison on right wing at center, he pressed over the IHL. He just directs it in the U.S. territory, tracked out in front of the goal by Pat LaFontaine. At his own line for a circling Paul Gay on left wing at center for Hirsch. He wraps over the IHL line, wheels right in front, purloined off his stick pile. LaCour left it for a trailing Kevin Willison at center. He wraps over the U.S. line. Wheels right in front for the car. Shot blocked on the defense by Olchek. Loose in front the back. Canter by O'Reilly U.S. wide. It lands on the back of the net from the carom off the back boards. No further play. Break in the action. IHL All-Stars 5, U.S. Olympic Team 4. This is IHL All-Star Hockey.
Larry Ficarelli rejoining you live. Wing Stadium, Kalamazoo, face out left of Mark Barron. U.S. goal from the face out. Claimed in the circle by Jensen. Jensen in the middle at center. For Griffith, thump by Tut. Controlled in the IHL zone by McGowan, who's had a strong game on the right defense. Now McGowan on right wing at center for Muskegon. Neil Aurelio, he zooms in over the U.S. line. Drove it in beyond the goal. Tracked down by Brooke. Brooke leads on left wing for Gary Sampson, U.S. away. Sampson thunders to center. Over the U.S. line along the boards. He was given a rough play by McGowan, who cracked him robustly. Dug out beyond the goal by Bernie Gallant. Gallant, side of the goal for McGowan, leading to the right wing boards for Neil Herilliu. In front of the goal for Gallant. Back beyond the goal for Tut. U.S. four checking tenaciously. Now Brian Tut will start out, leading on left wing for Bernie Gallant at his own line. Now Gallant for Flynn in the middle of the center for Herilliu. is passing an open wing, broken up by Scott Bukestad. He wheels in over the IHL line. He was tripped by Bernie Gallant. And there'll be an IHL penalty to Gallant from the Flint Generals at 5.50. And the U.S. will be presented its fourth power play of the night. And they did capitalize for the first time tonight on their most recent opportunity. It was Corey Millen who connected. And at that time, it closed the IHL lead to 4-3. to three. Bernie Gallant for the IHL, two minutes for tripping at 5.50. 14-10 left. Face-off, forthcoming deep in IHL territory. Arc of the circle up to Genya. For the Kalamazoo Wings. Davies and LaFontaine on the face-off. The ladder with two goals and an assist tonight. One by Davies, claimed in front of the goal by Willison. Right wing circle for Vic Morin. And Morin just hoists it down ice. Barron behind the goal. Swept it around the boards on left wing for Hirsch. Returning it behind the goal for Chelios. Now Chris Chelios, the Montreal draft choice, shadowed by Schreiber. Escapes his check on right wing at center of Pat LaFontaine. He darts in over the IHL line. Thumped on the defense by Willison. Back comes the IHL. Schreiber rocks up the right side at center. Storms in over the U.S. line. Checked along the boards by Hirsch. Commandeered by Davies, though. Davies at the... U.S. line, curls back to center zone. He wheels, stroked it in behind the U.S. goal, 116 for the power play. Now Chelios glides effortlessly behind the goal of collective. His long lead at center zone for an old check. Traveled two lines, U.S. offside, no further play. 13-20 left, third period. 1-10 for the IHL penalty to Bernie Gallant. And the IHL attempting to preserve a very precarious 5-4 lead. Face out right of Mark Barron in the U.S. goal. It'll be Grant Rosens off for the IHL. And Gary Sampson for the U.S. And he won it. Control behind the goal by Bob Brook. U.S. has it. Now Brook will engineer the power play rush. He heads into the straightaway at center. Accelerates over the IHL line. Right wing boards for Sampson. He pulls up in the corner. Right point for Brook. Now Brooke closes in, right wing circle for Verkota. He wheels right in front with a shot. What a save by Kenya. Rebound in the right wing circle. Sail down ice by McGinnis for the IHL. 40 seconds for the power play. Now Brooke veers in front of his own goal to escape the check of McGinnis. Now Rick went in right wing at center for Gary Sampson. He motors in over the IHL line. Right point for Brooke. Left point. For Jensen, who pours into the circle. Checked from behind by Rosanzo. But dug out beyond the goal again by Jensen. Second effort. Wheels right wing circle. Left along the boards for Verkota. Side of the goal for Sampson. Sampson centering pass blocked by Tut to the left wing boards. Where Ian McGinnis fires it down ice. Seven seconds remaining in Gallant's penalty. Now Brook in front of his own goal for the U.S. He accelerates up the right side at center with Yakachuk draped over his back. Yakachuk overpowered him. And back comes the IHL. Preston at center. Scurries in over the U.S. line. Wheels into the corner. Pulls up. Right point for McGowan. Left point for Wilson. And I believe they're ruling that Scott McGowan failed to contain it at the blue line. And that traps all the IHL All-Stars offside. 11.55 left. Third period. 
It's been scoreless in this stanza. IHL All-Stars 5 and the U.S. Olympic Team 4. Bill Inglis and J.P. LeBlanc behind the IHL All-Star bench continuing to rally their forces, continuing to exhort them in an effort to preserve this lead against this explosive U.S. club. Yakachuk won the faceoff from the blue line. A shot right out of that one. Almost crawled over the pad of Barron, but he closed the door. Puck can be on the goal. Control by the U.S. Paul Gay wheels in the middle of center. He darts in over the line. Right wing circle. Swoops in behind the goal. Centered it. Left point. Try a pretty right point for right. Screen shot. Right in front. Daniel smothers it. No further play as the U.S. team was swarming the goal that time. Gay and Bukestad, Gagnon and McGowan were there to close the door. I'll tell you, Scott McGowan has really had a strong game on the IHL defense tonight. And he, of course, representing the Kalamazoo Wings. Base out left of Gagnon. They have solved Gagnon once. That occurred at 16.49, late in that second period. It'll be Gallant for the IHL, the Fontaine for the U.S. on the faceoff. 11.27 remaining, third period. All ready to go, now we're waiting. Now Tony Fiore will move in instead for the faceoff. Fiore and LaFontaine. Waiting for the linesman. Sticks come down. LaFontaine won at right point. Shelly will fake the shot. Then five. Right on. Oh, Gagnon. And a screen. Close the door and scoop that up at the left goal post. Short side. No further play as Pat LaFontaine was really creating an obstruction for Gagnon. And Gagnon really evinced remarkable concentration powers and reflexes on that shot. Face off left of Gagnon, IHL goal. LaFontaine and Fiore again. Fiore was victimized by the talented LaFontaine in the last effort. Sticks come down. One by LaFontaine again, right point for Chilios again. The shot right up! Oh, Gagnon kicked that away in rapier-like fashion. Puck can be on the goal. Dug out by Fiore. Leading on left wing for Bernie Gallant. Now Gallant on left wing at center for Fiore. Rops over the U.S. line and offside was Neil Heriliu. No further play. 11.08 left, third period. IHL All-Stars 5, U.S. Olympic Team 4. And the face-off will have its occurrence outside the U.S. team's blue line. The attendance again tonight, standing room only, overflow throng, 5,284. 5,284. And the face-off, Tony Fiore from center for the IHL. Swept it in beyond the goal. Digging out Jensen. Right wing corner for Bob Brook. Thumped by Fiore. Covering to the right wing boards is Griffith. Now U.S. away. On right wing at center of Sampson. He motors in over the line. Right wing circle for Verkona. Around Harrison. Right in front of the shot. He sailed it through the crease. All the way left wing boards for Jensen. His pass was disrupted by Fiore in front of his own goal for Harrison. Harrison in the middle at center back for Fiore. Broken up by Jensen who stood into his own zone for Hampson. Now Gary Sampson along the boards, falls, but he nudged it away from the onrushing Neil Heriliu. Left it on the left defense for David Jensen, who fired it down ice. Hurrying to reach it deep on the left wing corner, IHL zone, Steve Harrison. U.S. charged with icing break in the action. IHL 5, U.S. 4. This is All-Star Hockey. play Paul Gay at the blue line fired wide rebound out the back boards oh the shot by Bukestad and Canyon the save puck into the corner Fusco tangled with Davies dug out by Gay Gay wheels top of the left wing circle shot right there Canyon squeezes that one and holds no further play 952 left third period IHL all-stars five US Olympic team four 
Face-off right of Canyon and the IHL goal. Again, we want to remind you, the Insurance Service Center stars of the game, a special all-star edition tonight. We will feature the most valuable player from both teams. Davies in the face of LaFontaine, right of Kenyon. All ready to go. Sticks come down. One by LaFontaine. Love point for Hirsch. Right point for Chelios. The shot that was blocked by Falkenberg as LaFontaine and Kenyon jostle each other in the crease. The puck all the way to center zone. Hirsch on right wing. Throw it in beyond the goal. Dug out by McGowan. His lead pass along the right wing boards for Schreiber. He left it for Rob Davies. Davies in the middle of the center for McGowan. Over the line for Schreiber. Right in front with a shot. It was blocked by Hirsch. Davies digs it up behind the goal. Side of the goal for Falkenberg. He couldn't reach it in time. Checked by Chelios. Now Chelios in the middle of the center of the Fontaine. Broken up neatly by Falkenberg. He swoops into U.S. territory. Wheels him beyond the goal. Left wing boards. Centered it for McGinnis. He wheels right in front to the crease for his ends up. Blocked by Hirsch. Hirsch on the boards. On left wing for the U.S. Forrest Jensen in the middle of center of LaFontaine motoring in over the Aicha line, working on Harrison, who spilled him behind the goal. And from behind the goal, covering up for the IHL as Grant Riss ends up. He swept it down ice. Covering behind the U.S. goal is Chelios. Now Chelios, long lead in the middle of center of Corey Millem. Knocked away neatly by Scott Gruel. Gruel just cleared to the U.S. line. Controlling there is Jensen on the defense. He steered it to the IHL line. Handled by Harrison on the left defense for Kevin Willison. On right wing at center, Ian McGinnis. He just backhand to the U.S. line. Tracked down there by Brooke. Now Brooke at center. All of the IHL line. Right wing for Vercota. All on the boards. He was shouldered robustly by Kevin Willison. Now Willison for the IHL in Milwaukee. A long cross ice lead on right wing at center for McGinnis. And he loads him to the U.S. Uh, a territory. Controlled there by... The U.S. on left wing at center zone. Griffin in the middle of the ice for Brook. He romps over the line. Dropped it for Millen. Broken up beautifully by Rosenza. Action halted. I believe we have twin miners coming up. There was some fencing going on in front of the U.S. bench. And I believe we have a penalty coming up. I think the, I, I think the U.S. was caught with too many men on the ice. I think that's the call. Dave Fisher, the referee, was right at the U.S. bench, and I think they've been called for having too many men on the ice. They were caught in the middle of a change, and the U.S. team could ill afford that penalty with 7.59 left, and they trail 5-4. Scott Bukestad from the University of Minnesota and a draft choice of the Minnesota North Stars will serve the penalty. Boy, that's a costly penalty for the U.S. From the face off, IHL could really solidify matters now. They have connected on their only power play opportunity of the night. The time of the penalty, 12.01. Now Tut storms to center over the U.S. line. Right wing corner for Preston. Preston at the backboards. Left wing corner for Danielle the Kerr. The curl on the boards. Left it in the corner for Preston. Left wing boards for the Kerr. Left point for Tut. Right point for McGowan. Left point for Tut. Left wing circle with the core. His centering passes airborne. Knocked out in front by Iafredi. Controlled by Dave. Rick one in his right wing circle for Gary Heat. He drove it high off the glove of Danielle LaCour for checking in the eye chill territory. Hurrying to retrieve beyond the goal is Brian Tutt leading on right wing for Scott McGowan. Now McGowan at his own line, skates it deliberately to center, crossing the U.S. line, wheels to the right wing boards, pulls up right wing circle for Yakachuk. He coils along the boards, back to the right point for McGowan. Left point for Willison. Left wing circle with a core. The core along the boards. Left point for Willison. Willison was checked neatly by Tim Thomas. Thomas just nudged at the center zone. Recaptured there by LaCour on left wing. He hits the U.S. line on the board for Yakachuk. Yakachuk along the board. Centered it. That one marshmallowed. It was blocked by Harrington who whipped at the center control by Heriliu. Now Neil Heriliu dropped it off at center zone for Bolin. Cross eyes on the left wing for Willison. His pass broken up by Chelios in the middle at center. For Harrington, check as he reached the IHL line by Galan, and back comes the IHL. Vic Bourne and right wing at center, soars in over the U.S. line. Right wing circle with a shot, bear in the save. Rebound right in front, Ogilvy. 
couldn't reach it. Back comes the U.S. instead. Samson in the middle, center of River Coda. Over the IHL line. Right in front for Samson. He was spilled neatly, and back comes the IHL. The line at center. Drove it in behind the goal. Covering up is Chelios. Penley is over to the U.S. Chelios deposits it back behind the goal for Samson. Around the boards on right wing. For the U.S., Scott Bukestad. He motors the center, hits the ice shell line with a shot right on. Stick save, Kenya. Rebound to the right defense for Steve Harrison. Harrison motors the center and right wing. He drifts it in a leisurely like fashion behind the goal. 5.30 left. Barron out of the goal. Throw it around the boards. Over the blue line to center zone. Falkenberg. Cued it back into U.S. territory, IHL offside. 5.26 left, third period. IHL All-Stars 5, U.S. Olympic Team 4. This is All-Star Hockey. play. Schreiber bursts in over the U.S. line. He was checked in the circle by Hirschback. Comes the U.S. Chelios in the middle at center for Jensen. Over the IHL line. He started him behind the goal. Lafontaine was given a rope right the back for He lost his helmet as Harrison really disheveled him. Covering behind the goal over the IHL is Davies. Olchek wraps him up and it squirts in front of the goal but McGowan is there to clear the blue line. Block left point by Hirsch. He's centered in front for Jensen. Checked neatly by Falkenberg and from the left wing corner Steve Harrison just rainbows it down ice reaching up behind the U.S. goal. Tom Hirsch IHL charge with icing. 4.43 left. Regulation time. IHL All-Stars 5, U.S. Olympic Team 4. We've had a scoreless but very thrilling third period, and this has been an excellent hockey game tonight. 5,284 standing room only. Face out left of Gagnon, who the IHL has protected in this third period. Gagnon has shut out the Olympic team in this stanza. All ready to go with a face-off, Corey Millen. And Grandpa sends off who won it. Directs it behind the goal for Brian Tut. IHL has it. Tut banked it off the boards. Along the boards on right wing for McGinnis. McGinnis was jammed along the boards by Jensen. No further play. And that'll produce another faceoff. Deep in IHL territory. This one will originate arc of the circle right of Daniel. 4.32 left. 5-4 IHL lead. Crucial faceoff again, confronting Peoria Cinnamon. Grant Rosens up against Corey Millen. Sticks come down, Rosens up, won that, and he just drove the puck into U.S. territory. He chases Jensen into the corner there. He jostles him in a mighty mood. It squirms into the circle. McGinnis dug it out. McGinnis coils to the blue line. Left point for Gruel. Shot right on. Barron closed the door. Short side as Rosens up was wrapped up in front by Jensen. Back comes the U.S. Wheeling in his own line as Sampson. Rick right on the right defense for Brook. Back at center for Gary Sampson. He motors in over the line. Along the board, stopped by Todd. It's airborne in the corner. Corralled there by Yakachuk on left wing at center for Gruel. Wrapping over the U.S. line. He wheels. Right in front for streaking dash. He pressed it and was knocked back to center zone by Afredi. From center zone, Brian Tut rocketed around the backboard. U.S. zone charging it after it is pressed in as he bowled over I afraid, but as I afraid he was going down, he took Preston with him, and back comes the U.S. Bukestad at center. Scott Bukestad over the eye, chill by Backhands behind the goal. Scott Fusco to dig it out. At the back court, checked by Kenyon. Kenyon lost the stick. The puck to the blue line. Back comes the IHL. McCord charges to center over the U.S. line with a shot. That's deflected high into the crowd. I L. Afraidy. No further play. Break of the action. IHL All Stars five. U.S. Olympic team four. This is All Star hockey.
left wing. Controlled on left wing by Neil Hurley. Really went center for Gallant. He bursts in over the U.S. line. Right in front for Fiore, and he was checked by Hirsch. Huck along the boards. Dug out right wing, cornered by Old Check. Behind the goal for Hirsch. Evading the check of Fiore at the backboards. Slipped it up on right wing for Chelios. In the middle center of Pat LaFontaine. He hits the blue line. Oh, right in front for Chuck back for LaFontaine. He couldn't reach it, but he dug it out in the corner. Ball point for Hirsch. Screenshot left. Rebound in front. Old Chuck shot. Oh, remarkable save by Canyon. And they smothered at the backboards. No further play. Oh, and Old Chuck had a wide open side of the goal on the rebound off the backboards. And George and just extinguished him point blank range with some remarkable and dramatic goaltending dynamics in theater 235 left third period the ihl trying to summon it they lead 5-4 this has been a dandy tonight all ready to go davies in the face out with Sampson, Sampson won at right point. Brooke fired, Pat save, Gagnon short side. Dug out right wing boards by Verkota. Verkota with the U.S. student to be on the goal. Gagnon comes out and intercedes. Up on left wing for Falkenberg, he cleared over the blue line to center, poked back into IHL territory by Jensen. Covering in front of the goal, the late offside is Harrison. Harrison just launches it to the U.S. line. Controlled by Brooke on right wing at center for Griffith. He was poked off a stick as he reached the IHL line by Harrison. Harrison on the left defense drove it to an open wing into U.S. territory. 202 left. Controlling his Brook at his own line for Furcota. Back in the middle at center of Bob Brook. Dashing in over the IHL line. Although on the board's working on more and he pulls up. Left point, Ryan Frady, the shot right on. Gagnon, stick save. Rebound to the right wing boards. Controlled by Rob Davies. He steered it up on left winger Falkenberg at center. That was stopped by Brooke. Brooke to send it back into IHL territory where Harrison controlled. Rick one on the right defense along the boards for Vic Morin. Now Morin in the middle at center of Rosanzoff. He darts in over the U.S. line. Centered in front for McGinnis. That was blocked by Fusco. Lost at the blue line to McGinnis. Ian McGinnis wheels right wing circle. Poked off a stick by Jensen. Puck to the side of the goal. Dug out neatly by McGinnis again. He centered it right in front. Blocked by Fusco. U.S. away. Fusco in the middle center. Gay stopped by McGowan. 108 left. McGowan. Oh! shot him. He fired it wide from the left wing circle. And back comes the U.S. Gay on left wing. At center of Fusco over the IHL line with a shot. That's wide. Under a minute left. Puck to the blue line. Right point shot by Chelios. Blocked by McGowan. McGowan steered it to center zone. U.S. trying to lift the goal. Tenors LaFontaine zooms in over the line. Wheels up over the shot. Great save. Gagnon only robbed him. Point blank range. And smothers it. Summer Sully in the crease. No further play with Pat LaFontaine lying in the IHL net. Oh, that Pat LaFontaine is exciting. What an exciting, nail-biting, hand-wringing conclusion of this one tonight. The U.S. coach Lou Vero has lifted goaltender Mark Barron for the sixth attacker with 44 seconds left. And the U.S. team the extra man and the sixth attacker. It'll be LaFontaine, Hirsch, Olchek. Olchek with three assists tonight. LaFontaine, two goals and an assist. Jensen, along with Brook, IHL, Yakachek, up front with Hariliu and Preston. And on the defense, will be Vic Morin and Kevin Willison. We have not seen Mike Boland very much since the opening period. He is seated on, seated on the bench, though. He may have incurred a slight injury. Now, U.S. Olympic coach Lou Vero will spend his 30-second timeout with 44 seconds remaining in the third period, regulation time, as the IHL All-Stars 5 and the U.S. Olympic Team 4. Now, J.P. LeBlanc and Bill Inglis in a confab, and there's a lot of intensity etched on the face of Inglis, the IHL coach, as well as his counterpart, Lou Vero. Now, the 
his wings fans there at Wing Stadium are chanting USA. They'd like to see this game end in a tie, and who wouldn't? Lou Vero, we were talking to Lou Vero at the luncheon today, and he told us, he says, well, I'd like to see this game end in a tie tonight. We might see it. Here we go. Face up left of Canyon. IHL goal. Yaka checking LaFontaine. One by LaFontaine, right point. Chilvio's fired it wide. Buck him in the goal. Old check dug it out. Side of the goal. Old check centered it right in front of Skip over the stick of Chilvio to the blue line. Neil Herilio nudged it over the blue line to center zone. Controlled by Williston. He backhand to the U.S. line. Half minute left. Controlled on the left defense by Hirsch in the middle of center for Chilios. Over the line on left wing for LaFontaine. Knocked back to center zone by Warren. And action is halted. I believe the puck may have deflected into the IHL bench on its trajectory with 19 seconds left. This Wings crowd is really in a state of delirium here right now. What a great finish to a great day here in Kalamazoo and the IHL All-Stars against the U.S. Olympic team. This is really a once-in-a-lifetime happening here in Kalamazoo. All ready to go. Net empty. Face off center zone. 19 seconds left. LaFontaine wanted the center for Chelios. Off the U.S. line for Jensen. Checked by Preston. He wrapped it off the boards. Down ice. Hurrying after his old check. He reaches an icing charge against the IHL. Seven seconds remaining. Seven seconds remaining. Stay tuned to the Insurance Service Center. Stars of this game show. We will feature the most valuable players from both teams. Right after tonight's action. All ready to go. 5,284. And they're not using the backs of their seats now. They've really enjoyed this one here tonight. LaFontaine. And Yakachuk on the face out. Left of Gagnon. IHL goal. Uh, U.S. team huddling. Jason the circle, LaFontaine, Bukestad, Chelios, Jensen. Now Sampson over the board. The late change will be disallowed by referee Dave Fisher. It'll be LaFontaine and Yakachuk. Seven seconds left. Here we go. U.S. playing every man up. Now Olchek will take the face off against Yakachuk. One by Olchek. Right point for Chelios. Check by Aurelio. He fires it down. formality and the IHL All-Stars will defeat the U.S. Olympic team here tonight and I'll tell you the IHL All-Stars were in a rouse and really a stimulated aggregation tonight the puck has dropped the horn sounds the game is over and the IHL All-Stars have defeated the U.S. Olympic team here tonight before a standing room only throng of 5,284 at Wing Stadium Kalamazoo George Gagnon preserves the victory from the four, for the Kalamazoo Wings and the All-Stars. Rob Davies scores the, a goal. Scott Gould, two goals and an assist. The final score then tonight, the IHL All-Stars, five. The U.S. Olympic team, four. The two teams in a very sportsmanlike gesture shake hands at center ice. Stay tuned with the Insurance Service Center. Stars of the game show coming up next. This is IHL All-Star Hockey.
winners of this big, important game here tonight. Appreciate your attendance. Here with the program is Terry Ficarelli. Thanks, Big Joe. Back at Wing Stadium, Kalamazoo, here tonight in an excellent hockey game, a very exciting and a very enjoyable one. The IHL All-Stars have defeated the U.S. Olympic team. The final score tonight, the IHL All-Stars, six, and the U.S. Olympic team, four. We're going, to, we're going to salute the most valuable players from both teams tonight. First, from the U.S. Olympic team, their leading scorer. He scored two goals and an assist, his 51st and 52nd goals. Number 16, Pat LaFontaine. Thank you.